property. Hey, what is property? I think we'd all agree that land, the buildings attached to it, are real property. And in the law, they are defined as real property. But what about other property? What about boats and cars and cash, things of that nature? Are they property? Well, it takes us to this week's case. And in this week's case, a case that was decided by the U.S. Supreme Court at the end of its last term in 2015, decided a case in which the definition of property became very important. Because it was a case in which a farmer in California who raised raisins was raising an issue with respect to whether a program that was begun in the 1930s under the New Deal really was a constitutional program or whether it was an unlawful taking of property. In the program, and the way it worked is that every year grazing farmers had to set aside a certain amount of their crop in order to prevent a large amount of the crop coming to the market and glutting the market and therefore depressing prices. The government would have this various allocation set aside. The government would then use it for programs pursuant to this particular program, uh, things such as food and schools. And any money that was made in the program after the government deducted its costs were then paid to the farmers in a relationship to how many raisins that they contributed to the program. Well, the big issue here was whether the money, if any, that the farmers got at the end of the day was really equal to the value of the raisins that were taken by government for this program. And the U.S. Supreme Court took a very close look at this and had to decide whether or not the raisins were property and whether or not the First Amendment of the United States Constitution was violated through an unlawful taking without compensation. The big question really in this case is what were the value, the true value of the raisins that were taken? And at the end of the day, the U.S. Supreme Court came away and said, hey, this program does violate the U.S. Constitution, and it is an unlawful taking of property. Now, that's important to you for a couple of reasons. One, it makes it very clear that government can't take property without just compensation. It can't take boats, uh, automobiles, can't take cars, whatever you've got. It can't take it, including cash, without just compensation. And many times what will become an issue, particularly in certain government programs, in this case an agricultural subsidy program, is what's the value that government is taking. And here the big issue became what was the value of the raisins that were being taken. And at the end of the day, the U.S. Supreme Court said the true value wasn't being paid to the farmers who participated in this program, and therefore it was an unconstitutional taking of property. Okay, important case, important case because once again, we see the way in which the U.S. Constitution protects your property from intrusion and taking by the government without compensation, right? We bring you this case and we bring you cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.